Welcome to Blackboard Basics for Instructors, Part 2, Course Setup. Setting up your course includes three general steps, create, interact, assess. The first step is to create content. In Part 1, we gave you an overview of the most common course elements. The Build Content menu allows you to add these elements. For example, the best way to add a syllabus document to your course is Build Content, then choose File. You will also have a way to link your published OIRA syllabus to your Blackboard course in this menu. Choose audio or video if you'd like to add your own multimedia content. You can also add a web link using Build Content web link. While you're creating this content, notice the orange asterisks. These show you which elements are required to create any item in Blackboard. This item requires a name and a URL. cit.ua.edu is our website. The web link does not require a description, but it could be helpful to those students navigating the course. While you're creating your individual pieces of content, organize them into content containers. We recommend using content areas and content folders. Content areas can be added to the left course menu, and content folders can be added inside of those content areas. There are many ways to interact with your students using Blackboard. The email tool allows you to send email to other people in your course without launching a separate email program. Remember, Blackboard keeps no record of your email, whether you send it or receive it. Now let's go over a couple of ways of interaction starting with announcements. Announcements are an ideal way to post time-sensitive information critical to course success. Click on Create Announcement to begin creating. Add a subject and a message. Ours will say, Welcome to Blackboard Basics for Instructors. Let us know if you have any questions. Check the box for email announcement to send a copy of the announcement to student's crimson address. Click submit when you are finished. Discussions are the most used basic interaction tool. You can create a forum, or you can create threads inside of a forum and have your students reply and interact with each other. Assess with assignments and tests. You can create coursework and manage the grades and feedback for each student separately. To create an assignment in a content area, click on Assessments and then Assignment. On the assignment page, name the assignment and add instructions. You can attach assignment files, add a due date, points possible, a rubric, and grading options. Each submenu should expand and collapse. You can make the assignment available and click Submit when you are finished. To add a test to a content area, click on Assessments and then Test. After you name the test on the next page, you can add various question types to the test canvas. Many question types are automatically graded by the system, but essay questions, short answer questions, file response questions, and some fill-in-the-blank questions must be graded by the instructor. As a reminder, click Assessments and then Test to create a test. To create a new test, click the Create button. For our example, we'll name it Practice Test. The description and the instructions are not required, but could be helpful to students navigating Blackboard for the first time. Click Submit when you are finished. On the test canvas, click Create Question and choose Multiple Choice to create a multiple choice question. Type in the question text. Choose Question Options. And type in the answers. To choose the correct answer, use the blue dot next to the correct answer. Each answer has its own text editor, where you can choose font options, align text, and add media. Click OK at the bottom of the test canvas to get to the screen. Then choose the test you just created and click Submit. On the Test Options page, you can change the name of the test if needed, make available to students, set a timer, and also add Auto Submit. Please do not use forced completion. You can also choose dates and times for the link to display for this test. Then you can add test availability exceptions for ODS students. The due date and self-assessment options are optional. Then choose results and feedback options and test presentation options. To review, the course setup process is create, interact, assess. Start by creating and organizing content. Then insert tools to allow students to interact with you and with each other. Use assignments and tests to assess your students' learning in the course. Thank you for viewing part two of Blackboard Basics for Instructors. Don't forget to check out part three, grading and retention.